It's Halloween month. While we're doing that, Halloween month. Favorite scary movie? I don't. I wouldn't consider it scary, but I'm a pretty big fan of the Terrifier series right now, just because I've been with it for a while. Ugh. So I'm ready to see Terrifier you three. And Terrifier. Aside from that, the Scream movies are all really consistent. Really like Scream. You know what makes them good? What? I'm, he kind of just got me started. What was the question? What's your favorite scary movie? <laughs> my, I don't have like a favorite, but like I'd say this. Okay, so some of the scariest movies I have three off the top of my head: Blair Witch Project, Paranormal Activity, and I, it's either I'm gonna go with Conjuring over Insidious, but James Wan Con- Conjuring guys, The Conjuring, The Conjuring <laughs> over Insidious. <laughs> Welcome back to Spirits Collective. I'm Alex. And I'm Aiden. And this is the show where we all learn to drink together. And today we have Jim Beam Black. And it's age seven years. <laughs> uh, so, so this is Jim Beam Black. It is 90 proof or 45% ABV. Uh, it is age seven years. This is distilled and bottled by James B. Beam Distilling Co. in Claremont, Frankfort, Kentucky. USA. I am a very good bad boy. And this is comprised of 77% corn, 13% rye, and 10% malted barley. Alex. Do you have any experience with Jim Beam? I've tried Devil's Cut. I've tried White Label. I've tried the standard, but I just took a shot of it. Just regular good old Jim Beam. Uh, and that's it. I was taking shots of Jim Beam in Christmas. Regular. Remember? I don't. I remember. think it was the day I went to main event. Yeah, I know we took shots at main event because I, I bought those shots. Yeah, yeah Jim Beam. So we took J- Jim Beam shots. I don't. And then we tried the bonded. That was called or double oaked. That was all right. Um, so yeah, I mean, I guess we have a pretty good experience with Jim Beam, and they've all been pretty basic. Um, Alex, what do you think of the bottle design for this? It is sexy. Um, yeah, really into it. Real simple. Jim Beam Black, age seven years with like nice kind of a, I don't know what color you would call that gold color, like that sort of type of gold that it is. Yeah, but it's, it's, it's I gold. dig it. I dig the black, the matte black with the glossy black with the gold. Uh, super sexy. And age statement for like a, a, a bottle that's under $25. Can't get much better than that. I have to agree, man. This is a really cool bottle. For under 20 bucks, this looks like a 25. 50. Yeah, for under 25 bucks, this looks like a $50 bottle. All, All right. right. <laughs> Let's open it. No cork. Disappointing. Everything is cool about the bottle except for that. Not even a sound. Oh, Jim Beam. I noticed on the seal for this bottle, it gave you tasting notes. What do you think of whiskeys that put tasting notes on the on the bottle? I think that's a little stupid. Eh, I don't know. Does eh. it kind of feel like you're trying to get, get in your head a little bit? I feel, yeah, especially when they're trying to be fancy. And it's just like some basic 80 proof whiskey. I don't know, what, what is what is this proof? It's 90 proof. This is 90 proof, but like a basic 80 proofer, and they're like, you're gonna get. Well, you don't know. shit on it. I'm just asking you a question. <laughs> no, I'm not saying this one in particular. I'm just saying you can get like cardamom and honeysuckle. Misleading. Yeah. That's the word for it. So, I'm getting uh, allspice and cinnamon. Let's see if we get anything on the visuals aside from the color, which is a nice color. Pretty nice color. Uh,. Would you expect it fast seven years? Falling. I guess it, after a certain point, it just stops getting dark. I, I don't think this is darker than some of the younger bourbons. No, you know it's I mean? not. I might as well just say this. My whole family is here in the living room, which is like right there. So just in case you guys hear anything. The nose. Ooh. Ooh. I don't know how I feel about that. Getting cherry. I can see that. Cherries. Alcohol, maybe yeah, a little a bit. Alcohol. Maybe a little bit of vanilla extract. Hmm. Uh, I'm also getting like a kind of like a soda cream, like a cream soda type of smell. Okay, nice soda. Cream soda. Uh, 
Maybe some dark chocolate. Yeah, I can. This kind of takes me back to Old Forester 100 a little bit. Kind of has that, like it's gonna taste like that. Hmm. That little like fizziness, you know. I'm gonna sit for like a minute. Anyway, now that it's been sitting there, let's get let's see if it if it changed a little bit. I'm getting more of those vanilla notes. It's exactly the same. Nice for me. natural vanilla. Actually, more of that creaminess is coming out. Yeah, it's pretty much the same for me. That's disappointing. On the taste. And if you like the content, don't forget to like and subscribe and like and comment. And comment. Cheers. <laughs> Whoa. Holy shit. Holy shit, man. <laughs> I, don't know how I, I did not that. expect that. Whoa. Well, it keeps going. Yeah. It's in my throat now. <clears throat> I'm gonna try it again. Coating my mouth with it. Oh, I'm nervous. Me too. What the fuck? <laughs> right, let's go. I've only done this a hundred plus times. I get like a wet cardboard. This, it warmed me up. I felt like a warmness come over my body. Yeah, I wanna drink this like around a campfire on a cold night, cause it's gonna warm me up and not much else. Uh, hmm. A lot of flavor, a lot of levels to this. That being said, they're not great levels for me. <laughs> um, it, and I feel like a whiskey that's this old, seven years, should be a lot smoother. There's a really strong like spice or herb at the, in the finish for me that I've never gotten before in any any whiskey that I've ever had. Uh, I wouldn't say it's super bourbon forward. I'd say it's actually kind of bitter. Bitter? That's not one I got. I got sweet in the beginning and it just turned into bitter. Um, very, it, it, it punches you in the face, I feel, with flavor. Yeah, it's like it's just a big old ball of flavors. But it, it's so it's so like uh, aggressive that it's kind of hard to pick out notes here and there. Uh, just and like in a like a just not like a like because we've had aggressive bourbons before, but we're yeah. like, oh, let me go back in there. This one was not like that, um, and it feels higher proof than ninety, which is not it does a yeah. good thing. This feels like like drinking wild turkey, except wild turkey tastes good. Uh, we hyped ourselves up a little too much for this, considering the price point, you know, Jim Beam Black, cool name, age seven years, age statement under $25. Checked off a lot of boxes. I have a lot to say, but I'll say it in the verdict. Okay. On the, rocks. on the rocks. On the rocks. Baptize me in a bottle of beam. On the rocks. Um, soda flavor, soda smell, like a, like uh, when the when this when the syrup isn't coming out yes, correctly. Yes, there you go. Yeah, yeah. So it's there, but not really. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Ooh, now I'm getting kind of like a rubbery smell. Now I'm getting waffles, frozen waffles, and some Dino Nuggies. All right, let's go. <laughs> For, the, for those who don't get the joke, uh, fridge ice. So. This is not just regular fridge ice. Mine is regular Look fridge ice. Look at that. Look How's this even from the same ice cube tray? <laughs> I still rinsed it. We're good. Woo! That's bitter, man. That's bitter, dude. Super bitter. That's fine. That's horrible. All right, verdict. verdict time. Aiden, I to say. being somebody who clearly doesn't like Halloween because you didn't get a costume. Last year I did, the year <laughs> before I did. You're the one that barely comes with a costume and apparently you bought it right before you got here. Hey man, my other costume wasn't gonna get here in time. <laughs> a popcorn bucket. Can you get I the like, hot dog? I like movies. Um, I like movies too. Uh, um, also, freaking new, that place was ransacked, dude. I was lucky I got anything at What's all. Where did you go to? The one right here. It was ransacked. Yeah, it was nothing. That's sad. It's because you know what I've noticed. Right now, stores they, they don't give a f 
fuck about Halloween. It's the all union? Christmas. The union? Um, they don't care about, about Halloween anymore, man. <laughs> right now, Walmart and Target, they're all Christmas already. That's weird. Uh, at Sam's, since before it even turned October, all the Halloween stuff was in the back corner and all the Christmas stuff is in the front, all the aisles. Well, that's because Christmas is better. It is. That aside, I have a what, Karen mask. What'd you think of the Jim Beam Black slash uh, seven year age so statement for here, here, under 25? Here's the deal with this one for me. Um, it's under 25 bucks, yes, which is a big plus. It has all these cool things on the label. It has a cool bottle. It has a seven year, the black. All that is nice, but it's just not that great tasting. And for under 25 bucks, you can get regular Jim Beam, which is just as good. On top of that, this is only 90 proof. So it's not like you're getting a huge difference, right? I think, Jim, I, don't, I don't know what Jim Beam is, but there's whiskeys. It's like 80, no? Whiskeys that are under 25, 20, like fucking wild turkey, man. 101, uh, tastes way better than this. Much higher proof. The only thing that this has going for it is a seven year, I feel. I would like to see this in some cocktails, some some simple ones, some not so simple You're ones. You're gonna make you a old fashioned? I, have the I think this would make a great old fashioned. I have the bitters. I would like to see this in a, something more syrup. basic, like a whiskey sour. Have simple syrup. Uh, what's another What's another bourbon, bourbon-y? Paper plain. I have a simple syrup and I have oh, mind seeing this in a- Aromatic and orange. In the, can you shut your lip? <laughs> Uh, yeah, I would like to see this in cocktails because there is a lot of flavor there, but I didn't really want to go back to it, but there were still nice flavors I'm familiar with. Would you recommend this to a beginner? Nah, I would not. Just because there's too much there and not in the right way, and then it feels higher proof than what it actually is, which is not a good thing. Uh, and I mean that, but like kind of alcohol and burn wise, and it was in your throat and in your chest. I also got like cardboardy synthetic. Oh, I got wet cardboard. Cardboardy synthetic, palette. rubbery palette. type notes. I don't know who likes those. Um, I don't know, man. For a beginner, me, I didn't say it, but uh, I would not recommend this to a beginner. If you're gonna buy a cheap whiskey, because yeah. I didn't ask you. If you're gonna buy a cheap whiskey, <laughs> I would I would just say go for the regular Jim Beam. Right, Jim or for wild turkey, Jim if you want to stronger, Jim Beam Double Oak, Jim Beam Devil's Cut, which we've never tried. Uh, I've tried. Uh, it's so many, <laughs> even Weller. Like if you can find it, like at fuck at the right price, Buffalo Weller. Trace, Buffalo bro. Trace. To name a million, I mean, just because it says seven year doesn't mean it, it, I've just I've just learned with this bottle yeah. it doesn't really mean much. Yes. Yeah. Um, I, I don't know what. Well, we had Bird Dog on, and that was like a cheap bottle that, that had an horrible. HD in it. It tasted bad, though. Yeah, but it had an HD yeah. in it. So it's not our first time we've tangled with cheap bourbons tangled? that have HD tang tangled. It's tangled. I've tangled. It's not the first time we've tangled. <laughs> <laughs> It's not the first time we've tangled with cheap bourbons with age statements on them. Uh, fucking uh, Eagle Rare, which we got for $27. Oh, that's the that's exception. a ten year. That's a ten year, that's the and that was really good too. So I I just don't see who this is for. Um, I applaud Jim Beam for trying I, to come out with something. Different. I would still like to see this in cocktails. Apparently, this is like a fan favorite because it's something they've had it prior, back, right? and then they brought it back. So yeah, if you like this bottle, try and change our mind in the comments. Tell us tell us what you like about it. Maybe we we missed the point, but. Uh, I still wouldn't mind having this, but mainly for cocktails. And then I would probably give it one more chance. I'm going to give this just a two out of five uh, bald eagles. Yes. I see the potential here for cocktails, taste wise, familiar notes. Do you want it? Like I said, not in a good way. Do you want an old fashioned? Because you keep no. picking it up. No, I don't. It's hard to make a good old fashioned. I have all the old fashioned. Doesn't mean you know how to make a good one. Just follow the recipe. <laughs> um, I'll give it like a two point five, just because I see the potential. Okay. Uh, the potential in you and me. Bringing our score to two point two five out of five bald eagles. <laughs> Guys, it's Halloween month. Let us know what you're dressing up as for Halloween. I'm a popcorn bucket. Aiden is nothing. 
he he didn't care. Watch last costume. year's videos. How I never shit on his stupid ass costume that we had to come up with here on the spot, and it was still better than what you have now. Who who are you? We're like like the kid from Coco. Hey, Coco is a great movie. Let us know what movies you're watching. Let, Let us, us know, know what if your you're favorite horror movie. Any haunted houses? If you're going trick or treating? If you're going to Costume parties. Let, me, let us know what you're drinking. Let us know what, what you're you, drinking. Your favorite Halloween cocktails. If you're going to a costume party, let us know what you're taking, right? Let us know where it is. Let us know where it is. the date. Yes, I'll we'll be, be there in Japan. Thank you very much. All right, let's close this out with one final sip. Cheers, everyone. Don't forget that. Drink responsibly and drink what you like. And don't forget to like and subscribe. <laughs>